Let's get into this. Let's get into this, baby. We're going to do Capricorn in love. And y'all going to be the last ones for this week. Y'all probably hear from me next week. I'd be lying because I'd be liking. I'd be missing y'all. <laughs> so I'd be wanting to do more videos. But please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay? And I thank y'all for all the love and support. Welcome back. Or oh, nice to meet you. If you're new here, I'm going to clean the energy of the cards. And we're going to get into it. Okay, Capricorn? Spirit, please give me clear, concise messages for my Capricorn. In love, what do they need to know? Let's go all the way to August. I mean, to October 10th. What do my Capricorns need to know? Let's go now to so October 10th. What do my Capricorns need to know? What's the overall energy for Capricorns in love? What's the overall energy for Capricorns in love? It's the now to October 10th. The overall energy for Capricorns in love. We get hot. Overall energy for Capricorns in love. Overall energy for Capricorns in love. The overall energy from for Capricorns in love. It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay. This is a picture. So let's see what Spirit is talking about. What are we talking about, Spirit? Uh, what do my Capricorns need to know and love uh, from nails to October 10th? Capricorns in love from nails to October 10th. It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. You know what you gotta do. Let's see, Capricorn in love. Spirit, please give me safe and safe questions for my Capricorns in love. Spirit, please give me clear, concise messages. Spirit, please give me clear, concise messages for my Capricorns in love. Be right back. Let them go. What? That was a pretty clear message. Do what feels right. This day, what did it say? All right, Capricorn in love. Uh oh, I hope I missed. I missed a few people. Okay, but we're about to do. So let's start over again. Please like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Mm, let's go. Uh, welcome back. Thank y'all for being here with me. So I have deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, and it says let them go. Let's see what we're talking about. I'm gonna just let this sit there. I'm going to just let that sit because that was just clear. Then I have only time with tell. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Message for my Capricorns. Capricorns in love. I feel like something is being forced. Somebody's forcing something to be something that it's not. Yeah, please give me taste and taste messages to my top points and live from now to the um, October 10th. Okay, universal love. Let's see. I feel like um, it's a situation where I'm going to just, I'm going to pull these. See it. Um, I feel like this probably a situation. Yeah, something is about to end, or somebody needs to take a break, or somebody wants to take a break from this. But something is about to end. Or like even if it's not, like I feel like if you force it, then it's gonna create these wild situations, right? Because you already know how you should have handled it, handled it. And if you sit and forcing something 
say if you like I have a vision in my head but I can't try to um, say if you trying to force something that don't fit right in a bag or something right it's gonna explode or the bag gonna bust because it don't fit you know so you're gonna create chaos because you're trying to force something that doesn't fit you get what I'm saying and they said you need you need a plan with this. So let's get into Capricorn. Fear. I have a clear, concise message for my Capricorns and love. Clear, concise messages for my Capricorns and love. This situation is not beneficial. It is draining. It's draining. It's a draining type of situation. It's causing you to have sleepless nights, my love. You may feel like you always got to look over your shoulder. I feel like this is a third party situation. Capricorn is in love. Whoever this is, like you already know the answer. I just put Ace of Cups as I said that. Clarify the Ace of Cups. But like this situation is financially and energetically um, draining. I feel like it's a big lack of communication here. We have the tower moment. See, so we have upright, upright, my lady here, four pentacles. She's she's stable. She's balanced. You know, she has like the wisdom and all of that stuff, right? But we have her upright, and then we have the tower moment. Something is coming to an end. I don't make this up. I just pulled the cards and I already said this um, at the beginning before I pulled this. Something is coming to an end. We got this tower moment here with the nine of swords. Like, you already know what it is. Like, let it end because if you force it, then it's going to get ugly. Like, I'm talking, I feel like jail because I was going to say something about pigs. Somebody can end up in jail. Somebody can end up in jail behind this. Um, I always get these weird messages for y'all. I feel like somebody is blind to a situation. I feel like I'm just going intuitively. I feel like somebody is stealing from somebody. Like this had to do with somebody's money. Or this can be a female or a male. And somebody's using somebody for money and they trying to act like they in love and all of that but they really not they're just using you for what you have and i honestly feel like you're blind so you could be dealing with a libra and like you had a sleepless nights and i feel like you pray about it and be like oh my god what should i do oh my god give me a sign and then boom here i am giving you a sign and then you still want to be like i need a sign sign you know because you already know the answer to your own question, you know? Oh my God, this is crazy. It's definitely two, it's two different energies. Somebody's, it's somebody's dealing with somebody else. Somebody's dealing with somebody else. Two people, I pulled two of the same cards. Somebody is like, I feel like somebody's being manipulative. Somebody's using somebody for money. Or trying to hold on to something. I feel like y'all trying to hold on to this. One person. I don't know who this is. Put your energy where it belongs. Okay. Um, Capricorns. Okay. I always have these messy readings for y'all sometimes. But like. Is it male or female? I don't know. Somebody. Is like trying to manipulate somebody or like um trying to blackmail type it feels like blackmailing type of energy right it feels like somebody's trying to blackmail somebody like first of all they they try to like use you like try to get inside your heart like act like they cared and loved about you and all that crap right and then just to use you for what you have like you see it but you trying to see like the good in, in the person but like you already know the answer to your situation or whatever the hell this is going on and if it's a situation this don't have to be for everybody for some people but if you feel like somebody using you for some money money or this person is stealing from you or whatever like it's one thing is oh i gave my dude a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars 
or you or you gave them your card to go to the store and to spend two hundred dollars and it's like a thousand dollars missing type of thing for like that like somebody's like stealing somebody like draining them they're the damn devil i didn't say it they said it you know what i'm saying they're and but they're trying to so like if you look at this when i look at this right now like they look good right like he's not ugly right so they can like look good so you say to be male female so we have a female like she seems or she just looks so good i feel like they look good to you or they might turn you on sexually or something right but like they're driving you nuts look they're freaking driving you crazy bro and they got you they playing with you like a um what you call them things like a puppet and you're not the only one they're dealing with and i keep saying feds like it says feels right here but i see feds and i see pigs right here this has something to do with police or somebody gonna end up in jail behind this <sighs> somebody's walking away or is trying to walk away feel like somebody is trying to leave um like trying to get away like escape right but they're trying to leave with the bags right like they're trying to find out a way to find out a way to leave with what they have or like say if they put this could be another situation where they came into a relationship with nothing now they have all this shit. excuse my language you know or they know y'all about to break up so they're just trying to borrow so much money from you or like they're trying to like just do extra or like go shopping or just like do all these experiences and use you and uh, make your well be dry like empty your bank account so when you when they leave you like they took everything you know so this is the message i have for y'all grief i understand that losing something is a, a, a opportunity to appreciate but like how i just took that i don't know that's the message that i have for y'all so i'm just coming to an end we got the devil here and we got the tower here like come on and i got a whole bunch of money that's not looking good you know so I feel like it's a very using energy. Somebody's using the shit out of somebody. Somebody's manipulating somebody, you know? So we don't want that. You already know what you should do and what really needs to be done in this situation. Um, I'm going to let that just sit there. Let them go. Me dealing with a, you're going to be dealing with a fire sign like an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. I don't know. Don't know. Let's see what your angels got to say about me. Now I did that. I'm going to go on the host. Please hope this resonated. If it resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Or if it don't, if you ain't like it, then dislike it. Or comment below. Let me know if it resonated. You are not alone. Make plans and focus. Like You need to, fo you need to open your eyes to this. Like Not your eyes, but your eyes. To see what's going on yeah you gotta get out get out run <laughs> run but that's the message i got look like i always say that's the general message okay say so we'll take what resonates leave what does not it's a billion five coins in the world okay so the message is for somebody i don't know who you know no, who, but it was for somebody. I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I love all the love, and I love y'all back. You know, so again, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support, support, and all that good stuff. Your girl is done. Ah, y'all be in for me like in a week or so. Some more videos, but I'm done. If you want to book a private, then hit me up. Okay. Spirit, I thank you for that, and I thank y'all for all the love. These videos that I just um, made, these will be posted on YouTube. 
and I always put like a little clip on my um on my Instagram. Okay, so thank God y'all see my little scene over. I'll be all over nature with it. <laughs>